spring fest season. It's 50 of them. what I want people to feel, but mostly when I create, I just want people to be entertained. I want to make people happy. So I don't have anything like deep to say. <laughs> and that's I just queen. want people to be entertained and just like smile when they watch my work and just enjoy it. Period. That's about it. Right. Well, <laughs> here she go, y'all, here she go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I think for my film, I think the biggest thing I'm gonna say, I want people to kind of think about how Siam was saying like about authenticity and identity. I feel like as black people we've really been stripped of like having a foundation and a root in who we are and that's a lot a lot about what my film talks about is reclaiming our identity as black people and defining who we are for ourselves. So I really want people to reflect on who they are as a black person, as a black man, woman or whoever and how they're kind of come together as a community and you know, push back against what people are trying to tell us we are all day and every day, you know? So yeah, identity, authenticity, those are the things I want people to think about. All the itties. Yeah. Muniang? Yes. Um, I share the same sentiment in terms of identity. The goal is to have people to ask questions about who they are. We're gonna change up the genre a little bit because at Howard we do it all. We can film, we can interview people, we can do all that. But we can also do fun, funky, fresh stuff like animation. Artists at the core of benevolent creation exuding enchanting power serving. From the H-U to the U-N-O, it can feel incredibly hard to make a name. Everybody needs to know their name. What's your video called? My video is called Villain. It's a music video. I edited it, but it's also my song. I'm really hoping the crowd enjoys it because I enjoy it. I think that Cold War is important. Hey, Minty. Hey, Minty. Hi, my name is Brianna Ardes. I am a freshman television and film major from Philadelphia, and I'm so excited for Maya's film. Hi, I'm Maya Chafin. I'm a freshman film and television major from Columbus, Ohio. Woo! What's your film? Um, so my film was called The Christmas Church Play. It's basically a homework movie parody that me and my friends last year. So. Yeah. And I'm in it. Yeah. Yo. My name is George. You all got to hear me sing. Yeah, she has a song. Mm -hmm. Period. Sorry, song. It's yeah. Really funny. It's about to be real funny. Hey, Miss 84. Hey. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. So yeah. excited to be out here supporting our vices. Yeah. I know it's gonna be great. Um, okay, sorry. How you feeling? You hear a lot of stuff about Chicago about like the violence, and it's overhyped for sure in the media, there. but it is still like, reality. Like and so, you know, and growing up and losing so people, it was How does it feel to see your work on the big screen? It was so surreal. I never thought that, like, not that this would happen, but I just never, like, today, like, it was just so just... It just feels amazing. It just feels amazing. And that it's okay to believe, especially if you're a black man, black boy, because it's like, you go into your teenage years, it's almost like this other level of development you have to go through, which is like, Thank you a lot. Let me just to name a few. Yeah. Of those uh, dresses that have specific meanings. Extremely like strong ambitions and a hard work ethic. So it obviously fed off into how I work and how I produce my art and my, and my craft. So that's why in my films you may see a lot of effects, a lot of cuts, a lot of different transitions. Because I'm always trying to figure out a way to stand out. And that's where a lot of people in my city, um, Chicago, what we want to do is stand out because we want to leave our city to get back to our city, pretty much, yeah. But yo, if you can hear me say, you're... 
If you can hear me say your, I only did that mainly because I'm from New York, right? And you know, and the question was, what was my inspiration for the film? So my brother's keeper. I always tell people, my inspiration by this film was love. I always want to show love in any aspect. I feel like in a lot of black films, we don't show black men expressing love in certain capacities or in certain ways. So basically, even though when you watch the film, you may show a toxic way of black men showing each other love, but the thing is...